Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be picking back up with our matplotlib series, and more specifically, our 3D plotting. Today, we're going to look at a scatter plot with uh, our 3D. So alright, let's just go ahead and get into it. If you're new here, thanks for joining us. Um, this is what we do. We do one topic at a time and we truly really build upon uh, everything else. One step for the next. And I think that that's important because then this is a resource for you to come back to and rewatch or find something else. So all right, so here's what we do. This is how we bring in a activate the 3D axis, and here's your standard uh, uh, matplotlib.pyplot, uh, and then alias it is plt. So, all right, we know we get our figure going. So, plt not figure, then our axis fig dot add subplot. Then we just go, and then how we want to do it, we want a projection of 3D. So, all right, we did this last time, then just PLT show. And we just come up like this, and we have our plot. But um, here we go. Make sure we can see this. Yep. And this is what we're about to do. So we're going to turn this. So, all right. I'm going to have, I'm going to put this stuff in the description below just to save you guys a little bit of typing and uh, have it on. So, all right. We're going to use the scatter plot today. So, what I, how I alluded to this was when we started doing 3D graphing we could really understand and see a true picture. So what we are used to is we have our X and Y, right? That's upside down. There we go. So we are used to this. And we go, okay. We have some sort of semblance of a pattern. It comes through this, but when you start to begin to, to really look at these things and you see them in 3D, oh, wait a second. So these look like these go together, but really, when you begin to move this around and look at it, these are like if you were to one of the perfect examples is credit scores and we're going to mess with that later but if we were to have our divider line and we do regression we would do this and we'd think it'd be something similar along here but when we begin to rotate this around we really see that these group together and then these group together. So this is just the beginnings of the things that we can do. And then we're going to really start getting into regression. Don't know how much of the algebra uh, we might need to explain, but um, very, very powerful tool. And these are the things where when visualization really started to be getting used in um, big data and analysis and then now data science that we're really wrapping our head around what it truly is with uh, machine learning and and alike that these start to stand out and then it's not as murky but we'll start looking at some stuff that is a little more murky but you can still divide it out and really see the picture so I wanted to th this topic can be very very overwhelming very quickly so we're gonna like we always do we're gonna do baby steps with micro videos and the reason why I like that description the most is because it came from you guys 
I'm not smart enough to come up with a micro video uh, name. So I love this channel for those reasons. Uh, you guys are uh, directing the direction and the magnitude and the feedback. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down below, and I'll get right to them. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.